The fact that the third speaker for the negative has a, a bigoted, pussy-grabbing, psycho pumpkin for a president shows the strength of his conviction to stay on planet Trump. <laughs> Please welcome the wonderful Rich Hall. Thank you. I want to, uh, Magna, nice to see you. Uh, <laughs> a few good men before this. <laughs> uh, I just think that perhaps if you're so adamant about colonizing space, you might have to shift just a few of your very steadfast moral precepts. Phil. <laughs> the proud Malaysian man. <laughs> You're a very intelligent man, aren't you? Very intelligent. Yes. <laughs> Where'd you go to school, Phil? Um, we're in Malaysia. Uh, University of Malaysia? Oh, no. Uh, University of Cambridge. Cambridge. Oh, very good. That's like the third best school in UK, right? Oh, it depends who you ask. Yeah. <laughs> Relatively good health? Oh, yeah, my gums are bleeding quite a lot at the moment. <laughs> that would be good, because of Mars, that blood will help your saliva from boiling. Because <laughs> that's what will happen. And let me give you a scenario, because you seem like an intelligent fella, Phil. <laughs> Pretty good at counting up numbers. You seem to have nailed mine. <laughs> OK, let me just give you a tip. Just a simple what-if scenario, OK? Just a very simple what-if scenario. You're on Mars. Phil. What is the maximum radiation level, within the Armstrong limits, of course, that you could absorb uh, before toxic hormesis sets in? Keep in mind, we're talking about being beyond the, the Van Allen belts. <laughs> what, would that, what would that number be, Phil? Uh, seven. <laughs> Doesn't matter. <laughs> Doesn't matter because a huge solar flare, whoosh, has just hit you. Now, what would be the variable specific impulse projection that you would use to get yourself back into a pressurized safe pod? Uh... Take your time. <laughs> Three kilonewton meters. Trick question. <laughs> you wouldn't use variable impulse projection at all. Phil, you would use photonic projection. <laughs> well, Sorry, uh, I, I didn't carry the one. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so many people get that question wrong. <laughs> So only the smartest, healthiest people are going to be allowed to go to Mars, Phil. You could not answer a simple question. <laughs> you won't be allowed to go. You know what we call that, Phil? Eugenics. That's right. <laughs> Little Little pet project of Adolf Hitler. Do you remember Hitler, Phil? <laughs> Hitler kicked up a little dust back in the 40s. Remember him? <laughs> yeah, that was big. You know, genetic selective breeding, survival of the fittest. So I guess what you are admitting, Phil, <laughs> is that you are supporting the colonization of a planet that would not even have you as a member. <laughs> cool, you're cool with that, good. Okay, we're on the same page. <laughs> Ursula. Yes? Oh. <laughs> That's 
down like yeah. I'm scared. Yeah. This is called upstaging. Ursula, <laughs> you seem uh, like a solid proto-feminist. I'm solid. <laughs> I'm the only person here letting the other people be funny. Just keep that in mind, folks. <laughs> Being very generous with my time. <laughs> Ursula, uh, what have I said to you? Uh, wow. Women going out in tight skirts, <laughs> cleavage, bared, asking for trouble, right, Ursula? They'd be asking for trouble, wouldn't they? Any woman who goes out like that? Short uh, skirt? No, they should be fine. Really? <laughs> yeah. Unless they do it on Mars, you probably want to put your suit on there. <laughs> Just, just, cause... just fucked up my whole argument. <laughs> Fuck! Shit! So, does that mean You're I'm... supposed to walk me into this. So, I'm smart enough to go, though, right? Oh! <laughs> oh, you're not. You'll die. You will die. All women will be forced to cover themselves from head to foot. So it'll be a radical Muslim sort of society. <laughs> That's the only way they can stay alive. That's all I'm saying. It's the only way you stay alive with Mars. Charlie. G'day. Yeah. <laughs> How's the weekly going? It's back oh. May 2nd. Yeah. Imagine doing the weekly on Mars. I guess it would be twice as long. <laughs> the, the, the week or the show? <laughs> What kind of a question is that? <laughs> this is the show, the weekly, the weekly show, the show. The weekly. <laughs> what neighborhood do you live in there, Charlie? I, I live in the inner north, Rich. Oh, the inner north. Oh, yeah. That's the gateway to the north. <laughs> yeah, I've been to the inner north. Coffee shops, parks. Whole food restaurants, very nice. What would you say, Charlie? <laughs> it feels so good when someone does that to you. I cannot tell you. Oh. What would you say? How would you feel if they started fracking it tomorrow, your beloved inner north? Fracking. I mean, just unregulated exploration, mining, bulldozers, drills right outside your house. <clears throat> Yeah, I, I know what fracking is, Rich. Yes. Um, I, I would be against it, Rich. Would you? Yes. Is well, that helpful to where this Yes, that's very helpful. Because I, I really want to help you get there, you for the want, audience's yes. sake. Here's my little comedy trap. You just step into it, not like Ursula, who fucked everything up. All right. OK, so you're, you're against fracking. Let me just make sure I got this right. You're against fracking. And yet, you're supporting a colony where the toxic after effects of fracking would be extremely prevalent. Nitrous oxide, CO2, methane. So I guess what you're saying, Charlie, is that even though you're against fracking, you were for the devastation that fracking, some word. Uh, <laughs> Exacts. You know my point. Ursula, fucking help me out. Where am I going with this? So, uh, you, you are pro uh, the fuck up on Mars. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I just wrote my part, okay? I'm not. I, I, I didn't expect all then these. Then why are you over here? I all didn't the time? expect all these responses. <laughs> didn't this happen. This is a fucking ensemble, mate. I know, but this done, did not happen in a few good men. <laughs> It's almost over. Soon you'll be asked to crown the winner with applause. We've stated our case with logic and 
facts. We didn't cheat. We didn't shave any balls. But prepared we must be to accept disappointment. For one thing in Australia that I've seen is that the righteous and the correct are seldom anointed. There's one thing I know about Australia I have seen from example. When Aussies see a tall poppy, the poppy gets trampled. <laughs> So we concede in advance. <laughs> With dignity and grace to the team. It surely should have finished second place. And we won't be smug about it. We won't get up on our high horses because we will be losers on earth. But on Mars, you'll be corpses. <laughs> 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 <laughs>